what makes teeth white? And will supporting the oral microbiome make our teeth whiter? Yeah. And by the way, there are some folks out there whose teeth need to be less white, in my opinion. Agree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> totally agree. Is, and we're being somewhat facetious, but not really. Um, but I think most people would like to have teeth that are uh, would be uh, characterized as mostly white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We want to look good. I mean, I appreciate and respect that. I do think we've moved a little away from reality with mm -hmm. some of that. So I agree with you. I think there's there are um, teeth out there that could, could not be quite so bright. But you do you. I think everyone should do what makes them happy. So... What makes teeth white? So interestingly, if you look at a baby tooth next to an adult tooth, and I get this call all of the time from parents. So the child loses their first baby tooth, the adult tooth starts to come in, and adult teeth are quite a bit darker than baby teeth, which are very white and bright, and they're worried. What's wrong with my child's teeth? They're so yellow. That's actually a very natural shade of enamel. And why is that? It ha all has to do with that crystalline structure in the mineralization. So baby teeth are less mineralized, and the crystalline structure is a little more haphazardly arranged. It's not quite as organized. So instead of like Lincoln logs lined up, it's more like pickup sticks to some degree. Why is that? Baby teeth are meant to resorb, dissolve, and fall out. Okay, so this is why baby teeth are also much more susceptible to decay. So the whiteness is coming how the light reflects and refracts off the teeth, which is a lot of times why you'll, why you'll hear if you use hydroxyapatite or even coconut oil, is changing the surface, the surface modification. So it's changing the way light reflects and refracts off that tooth to make it seem whiter and brighter. Now, certainly with adult teeth, if you're using bleaching agents, you know, hydrogen peroxide or um, carbon peroxide, some of the stronger bleachings, that's actually penetrating into the tooth and changing the structure, pulling out stain. Do people do that? They gargle with hydrogen peroxide? Well, they do bleaching trays, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, well, people will rinse with hydrogen peroxide, yes. And it will make your teeth brighter and whiter, but I'm telling you, it's going to do a number on your oral microbiome. So I suggest it very in a very limited fashion. The only time I ever had a bad canker sore was because I gargled with 50% um, water, 50% uh, hydro, oh, uh, hydrogen peroxide because an acupuncturist recommended it. Hmm. I, he looked at my tongue and then he said, you should do that, you know, and then I did that and then, you know, Four or five days later, I had this like, you know, nickel sized mm -hmm. canker sore Too on the much. roof of my mouth. And I was like, oh, and um, I will say, and I have no product affiliation whatsoever, but um, to any, any specific products, but, I, but by switching to hydroxyapatite containing toothpaste, my teeth, they definitely have gotten whiter. Yeah. I drink a lot of yeah. yerba mate and coffee and, um, and I brush, but that, that was it. It was a, it was sort of a progressive issue of my teeth dimming, um, so that's been been great. I also used to get cavities fairly often when I was a kid. We, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but since switching to hydroxyapatite toothpaste, I've had like stellar yeah. um, dental reviews. Assuming my dentist is looking carefully, I, I believe he is, but we'll see. And to me, it just makes so much more sense. Like give teeth the mineral that they normally use to remineralize. Um, it just makes sense. Like, it's biomimetic. Yeah. It, it depends on how you look at life, I think. I prefer biomimetic materials personally. It's Again, it's a personal choice, but I agree with you. My patients who have switched to hydroxyapatite, and I'd like to point out not all hydroxyapatite toothpaste are the same. It depends on sourcing and the other ingredients that are in there. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, their teeth look healthier, stronger, whiter, and brighter, they're, they just look more nourished, more hydrated. Their microbiomes look more balanced, mm -hmm. too. You're talking about kids and the fact that sometimes if their teeth are a little bit yellow, that's normal. One thing um, that I've been really struck by as the discussion around longevity seems more and more prominent these days is um, occasionally I'll run into somebody who's in their 70s or 80s, um, even 90s. And it's very rare to encounter somebody in their 80s or 90s whose teeth are not like the color of this tea. And mm -hmm. for those that are listening, it's a, like a very dark brown. Mm -hmm. um, I've never seen somebody, unless they're doing something highly artificial with bleaching, um, I've never seen somebody 75 or older whose teeth aren't basically yellow to brown. Darker. And when you look at people when they're very close to death, 
their teeth often look uh, very opaque. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what is that? Is that a blood flow issue? Is it, um, what's going on there? Yeah, it, it can be a uh, xerostomia or dry mouth. So we definitely lose salivary capabilities as we age very likely more mouth breathing. So mouth breathers will tend to have darker teeth because the teeth desiccate, they dry out. And over time you will experience mineral loss. Um, decades and decades of coffee, tea, wine will do it too. Yeah, well, I don't drink the wine, but I've yeah, definitely had coffee, yeah. tea since I, was a, stain. since I was a little kid. I've mm -hmm. been drinking mate since I was like five. It's good. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, gotta yeah. live life. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and so they're and they they're losing minerals too. You know, over time, your teeth take a beating. I mean, they're we're living to be a hundred now. That's a long time to maintain this non-shedding surface in our body. You know, so um, and then it depends on the generation too. But some some generations, especially as you mentioned, seventies, eighties, I'd wonder about tetracycline exposures when there's certain antibiotics that we don't use anymore that can um, were known to darken the teeth, which is why they pulled them mm. from common prescription 